Hi guys, this is the tutorial on how to weigh and measure your food. The easiest way, the cheapest way to weigh and measure your food and to know how many calories, how many carbohydrates, how much fat, how much protein you are ingesting is to first of all get on your iPhone and go to your app store. So I'm going to plug in here, app, my app store shows up, I'll click on there. Let my app store at load, and I am gonna search for the app called My Fitness Pal. We'll search for that, and it'll come up. It'll look just like so. It's got a, it's blue. It's a blue button. It's got an Under Armour logo on it, a silhouette of somebody leaping through the air. Mine says open because I've already downloaded it. Yours may say get or download. Go ahead and get or download it. If you need to, if you are downloading it or getting it, then you may have to go through all of the prompts to make a username, a, uh, a password, and make yourself an account. And once you buzz off through all of those prompts, it's gonna bring you to this, which is your home page, which I just circled down at the bottom left. And now you can see at the top, it tells me how many calories. Um, I, I've adjusted zero calories today. Um, it also has uh, uh, an article at the top about the dangers of eating processed foods. Yours may look different. Uh, you're not gonna actually spend a lot of time on the homepage. Uh, you're, you're gonna spend a majority of your time on this diary page. So you can even skip this part and just go to diary. And now that we are on diary, you can see that it's the, the top of the screen remain the same, but now it's asking me what did I eat for breakfast, what did I eat for lunch, and what did I eat for dinner for today. And if I click here, you can see that I could choose yesterday or I could go to tomorrow even if I already know what I'm gonna plan on eating tomorrow. But let's talk about how to upload your food. The easiest way, the first way to upload food is with a barcode. So I'm gonna click right here on add food for breakfast. And let's say that I ate something and you can see that when I click on bar uh, uh, add food, you can see that it brings up a list of foods that I've already ingested because the smartphone will preload it, preload it. But up at the top right, there's a barcode. That's the easiest way to upload food is if it had a barcode. It's not the most suggested way, but it's the easiest way. So if I click on this barcode, you'll see that it'll switch me over to my camera. I want to load this share bar right now, so I'll turn it over and find the barcode. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in on that barcode and hopefully it doesn't make a liar out of me and it will load this up. Sometimes you might have to just straighten out the barcode a little bit. And now that I have found it and recognized it, you can see the share bar has shown up by default. I'll click, I'll click on this check button up at the top and that will load it right into my food. Simple enough, right? Next way to add food would be fast food restaurants or restaurants that you go to like Outback Steakhouse or Chipotle or anywhere. You can add food from their menus are usually preloaded in MyFitnessPal as well. So I will now click on add food for lunch. This is gonna ask, as you can see my share bar is preloaded in, but I'm gonna plug in McDonald's. Even though I don't suggest you go to McDonald's for lunch, you can see that all of their foods are loaded. And if they have check marks, that means they've been verified. Now, specifically from McDonald's, let's say that I had a grilled chicken artisan sandwich. And I search for that. It shows up. I'm going to click on that grilled chicken artisan and I'll also click the check button to say I ingested it. And now you can see that I've got my strawberry share bar up at the top. I've got my artisan grilled chicken sandwich loaded. And that's another way to add food. The last way to add food is just to add real food. Like let's say right here, I'm gonna add food for dinner. I am gonna search for broccoli. And um, of course I have to weigh and measure this to see that I'm having the right amount. But then I measure out a cup of broccoli and I'm gonna click on check as if I had eaten that. And now that added broccoli, any snacks that I had. Oh gosh, let's say that, um, let's say that you're eating a food that has two plus items in it. Let's just use cereal for a simple example. So on snacks, I'm gonna click add food. And let's just say I had Oh goodness, I didn't really do this, I promise. But let's say I had Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I'm gonna search for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. 
I'm gonna want to measure out my Cinnamon Toast Crunch here to make sure that I only have 0.8 cups because that's what it says a serving is. So when I click on Cinnamon Toast Crunch, now let's say I had more than that, then I might change, maybe I had double that. So I would change my servings to two, but I'm not, I'm only gonna have one serving of it. So I click this as if I had my Cinnamon Toast Crunch and then I also, with that food, I had skim milk. And I'm going to search for skim milk. I had one cup of it. Change the serving size or the number of servings, of course, and hit check once I'm happy with it. And now I've got all of my food for the day. I've got my vanilla share bar. I've got my artisan grilled chicken sandwich. I've got my broccoli. I've got my cinnamon toast crunch and my skim milk. And you can see here that I've ingested 821 calories for the day. To find out what my carbohydrate, fat, and protein breakdown is, I would scroll all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, and you'll see this button here It says nutrition. You're gonna click on nutrition, and that will bring you to this screen. Now at the top of this screen, it's got three different options. It says calories, nutrients, or macros. If you look, just click on your macros, and you can see here it will tell you how many grams of carbohydrates you've had, how many grams of fat you've had, how many grams of protein you've had, and then it will tell you what your percentage of your caloric intake each of those were. So that is how you simply weigh and measure your food. Not that any of the foods we plugged in are the foods we recommend, not that any of the goals you may have seen on my screen are any of the goals that you should have, but that is the simplest way to weigh and measure your food.